Hello everybody and welcome back to Vixen Purple's Crochet and More. I am your host Cheryl. Today uh, at the time of this filming is July, June 29th. Um, I do work a full-time job and that's why I get that's why you get to see me in the same outfit. But anyhow, hello from Colorado Springs, Colorado where I reside. This is uh, going through my tote series. This is episode or tote number 43. Yes, 43 totes that I've already shown, that I will be, well, the four, 42 I've already shown you guys. This is going to be 43. It is an 18 gallon, gallon tote. Um, I, okay, most of you guys already know this, know the situation is I moved into this house about three years ago. It'll be in October is when I've been here for three years. I started my channel about two and a half years ago. A lot of this stuff that you guys may have seen from previous hauls, I put them in totes and I forgot where, what I had in those totes because once I get them put in the totes, I tend to go on about my merry way and I forget what I did. Um, a lot of this totes, a lot of this stuff you'll see is probably going to be from either Mary Maxim's, Joann's, Michael's, Hirschner's, Premier Yarns, Lion Brand, even from the thrift stores, um, stuff that I get through the thrift stores, as well as Facebook Marketplace, as well as um, swap meets or flea markets. Here we call them uh, flea markets in Colorado. Other places may call them swap meets. Like I know in California, they used to call them swap meets. I don't know if they still do or not, but that's where we, um, where we get our stuff. So this is going to be a variety of stuff. I will be honest with you, when I realized how much, how many totes I've gone through so far, I'm going, holy cow, this is ridiculous. So has it gotten my depression up? Yes. This is a lot of yarn and I, I worked hard for it and I'm enjoying it, but I don't get to enjoy it when I have it in totes. So this is kind of basically revisiting some of the stuff that I have already purchased and go, oh, this is where it's at. <laughs> so with that being said, I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Um, I do work a full time job, so you'll see and I do get to film on Saturdays, So that's why you'll see me in the same outfit just in a different day. I just don't know when this is going to go up or how many videos I'm going to be able to make today. Today is, is Saturday, like I said. My husband's going to have a short day, so I'm trying to get my um, filming done. You will hear life noises. I have all three puppies down here with me. Holly is pacing because she's being Holly. She's a husky. Oscar and Rascal are somewhere back over there being good, which I'm glad. And then you'll see my my, my other fur babies, which is the kitty cats. Uh, Sweet Pea's hiding in a, in a cubby. Rags, I have no idea where he's at. So he's probably upstairs in a window going, oh, I want to be outside. No, you don't. We have owls. We have hawks. They like to eat those animals. There's also fox around here too. Even though I'm in a um, rural area. Well, not really a rural area. I'm in a populated area. Just it's kind of rural-ish. I guess you could say. Anyhow, this is the size of the tote. It's 18 gallons. Some of this stuff you guys have probably already seen on previous hauls. And I tell you right now that some of this is from Michael's. And I, so I think some of these are already discontinued. I don't know. I do have my glasses by with me. And well, let's see what we've got in this tote. It's a lot of good stuff, I think. So, um... Let's start off with this. How many do I have of this? Looks like I have, looks like I have three of these. Usually I get four of them. Okay. All right. So maybe they only had three at the time. Who knows? This is uh, loops and th yeah, loops and threads, charisma, acrylic yarn. Let me, sh let me, this is a colorway. It's, they're in the purple tones, so it's very purple and muted, of course. So I have three of them. I do have a tote down here, so I will toss them into that tote. And I'm going to give you a one for me, one for you type thing. 
so you can get an up, up close personal look at it. So this is what I've got. This is, uh, like I said, the loops and threads. This is, well, Cheryl, yeah, the Charisma yarn. And as you can see that it's 109 yards, it's 3.5 ounces, 100 meters, 100 grams. This is the colorway called Strawberry Multi. Well, honestly, that does not look like strawberries to me. That looks like purples. It's not red, but anyhow, it's really, it's, it's very tonal. It goes from dark to light. So I haven't figured out what I was going to do. It's probably going to be a hat and a cowl or something to that. Cause I only have three of these in here. It looks like I have four and I'm pretty sure these are discontinued. I wanted to try them, but let's see, what do I got? I got Holy cow, can't get my fingers through. Um, so this is the colorway. These are purple. And this is cozy blue, 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 the blue K stuff. I can't, I can't speak. So there it is. So I have four of them. So let's go here. One for me, one for you. Um, this is called Candy Dots. This is 100% a polyester. This is a five bulky weight. This is 164 yards, 5.9 ounces, 150 meters, 150 grams. And it's a blue, they call it a blue clay. And to me, it's just more of a fuzzy yarn. That's what it is. Let's see. Can I get this piece out? Let's see. There we go. And that's what it looks like. So, like I said, I don't know what it, what I'm going to do with it. It's got little nubbies in there as well. Um, so, it's very, very soft. I haven't figured out what I was going to do with it. But there's enough yardage to make a project with on that. So, go lay down, Holly girl. So, I have one, two three, four of these um, loops and threads. And this is called uh, Carousel Twist. That's what the yarn looks like. Let me get one for me, one for you. And I have four of them. I need to work with it because they're getting kind of messy. That's not a five more of a thick four okay <clears throat> all right one for you one for me this is called posy bouquet bouquet can't speak <laughs> um in the, each one of these is 213 yards 5.3 ounces 195 meters and 150 grams it's a hundred percent acrylic and it's basically got a twist to the yarn. And you can see that they've got it like that. And I haven't worked with this, so I don't know. To me, this feels like a very thick four, maybe. It may be borderlining a five. I don't know yet until I work with it. But it's really soft and nice. <clears throat> and like I said, it's 100% acrylic. And I have four of those. The heck? That's weird. This is all wrapped up inside that. Threads. 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 Okay. <clears throat> In here I have also got three of these. It's also loops and threads. This is really pretty. It's purpley colors. This is called uh, ring spun. That's what it is. It's called, this is called, what are you called? Just says color. Concord Malty is what the color is. So I have three of them. All right. So like I said, one for you, one for me. Let's get you a better 
better label so you can look at it. This is 163 yards, 6 ounces, 149 meters, 170 grams. It is a bulky 6. And uh, there's enough to do a cowl or and a hat to match with this. So, who's, I'll know. who knows? For all I know, it could be an, an amigurumi. It all tells me when it wants to be. Uh, looks like I have three clearance yarns that I found at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember when, when I bought them. Um, this is a soft and sleek chunky. And yes, they're kind of on the leaky side. So let me get a good one here and put this one here. Straighten that one up here. Go from there. All right. So I originally paid $1.24 for these. Um, this is, like I said, soft and sleek, chunky. This is uh, five ounces. It's 142 grams, 211 yards. 193 meters. It is 100% low pill acrylic. This is called light gray and I have three of them. So there's also enough to do a fairly sized project. I remember buying these and I was looking for Was it animal tones? I was looking basic, basically a color for some more lions. But anyhow, I have two of this Loops and Threads Soft Classic. And the yardage on this is 354 yards. It is 7 ounces, 324 meters, 198 grams. This is called Bisque, like biscuit. Um, 100% acrylic and it's a four, four medium weight yarn. I have two of them. And I'm pretty sure I was thinking about a lion or an animal when I bought two of these for that color. Also in here, I have the same specs on the, on this one. It's the same thing from Loops and Threads. Oh my goodness. Um, this is the color called Mustard the same specs the loops and threads soft classic if I could just put it upside there we go this is the color mustard oh my goodness it looks like I have some uh, red heart super saver and uh, it looks like I only have one in here and this is seven ounces it's 364 yards 300 and 30 meters it is a number four this is called dusky gray and there's the specs and there's the name I think I was gonna want to do a lion not a lion an elephant with this color make a good elephant color for sure um, in here, it looks like I might have a bandless ball that I probably picked up from the thrift store. And that is a, a yellow. It's a bright yellow, most likely super, uh, Red Heart Super Saver. And it looks like I have another one that's brand new. And slightly off. A little bit different color. Okay, so in this one is a bright yellow. And it's from uh, Red Heart Super Saver. Basically 364 yards, seven, seven ounces. So there's that. There's that color. This is really, really bright. Boy, it shows up really bright in the camera today. Maybe it's a bit lighting. But anyhow, I also have a, a Loops and Threads. Um, they call it Color Craft Acrylic. This is 810 and 12 yards, 16 ounces. And I think I bought this color because I thought it would make a good um, Frankenstein color. And this is the color called Sage. So that's what I thought that would make. That's probably why I bought that. 
in here I also have an older uh, Red Heart Super Saver. Supposed to be an 8 ounce ball. Doesn't say how many yards in it, but this is called Periwinkle. It does not feel like it's a, it's a full ball. So, but there's enough in here to do something with it. But I'll figure it out one way or another. I'll figure it out. Also in here, I have an older, um, it's called Nutra Sail Yard. Holy cow. I, I kid you not. It seems like the dogs are got hair all over. This is called Dark Iris. And this is supposed to be a 3.5 ounce ball. It does not feel like it's a full ball. But I'll have to weigh it and see. But anyhow, that's what it's that's what it says. There's the the information. And that's the color name. Dark iris. So that's in there. I like this stuff. Let's see. I have four of this color and let me get you one for me one for you this is uh called country loom there we go this is called country loom by loops and threads this is a very much discontinued yarn um this is four hundred and four yards and 95 meters it's supposed to be five ounces and it's supposed to be 140 grams this is 100% acrylic. Um, this is the colorway called Tapestry. I have four of them. That's more to color. And these are real pretty pur purples. It is very much a blue, a blue clay style yarn. I've made several hats with this. Uh, stuff that not thinking I had enough of one color. But this time I have four of them, so I must have picked this up at the thrift store. Because that's the only way I find those particular ones. Then I have a another country loom, same specs. This one is more of a teal green. And this is the colorway called Solarium. So Oops, it would help if I turn it upside right side for you guys. So this is what it is. It's loops and threads. This is the colorway. That is pretty close to true to color. And there is the name. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's that color name. And that, to me, it's called Solarium. So I know I probably have a probably have another hat run around somewhere with this colorway in here I have a big ball of pink no band it feels like it might be a full ball don't know it's pretty stiff so but I have that it is definitely a thin four maybe a three weight I don't know and it's definitely acrylic in this and then I have an I have an older impeccable called Soft Rose. It's two hundred and sixty-eight yards, two hundred and forty-five meters, five four point five ounces, one hundred and twenty-eight grams. This is the label. That's the color. And there's the name. In here. Oh, that's where this one went. Okay. I had picked this up from the thrift store. And this was an Annie's kit. And this is called um, Walker Caddy. So here's the here's what it is. And apparently this is called Soldier's Angels. It was the organization this was supposed to go to if they chose to make it that. Let me put this in the 
thing here for the stiffness. So there's that. So this is what the yarn was supposed to make. And I have two of these in there. So yeah, this is stuff that I would pick up at the thrift store because I don't uh, I don't do the well, I haven't subscribed to the to Annie's Addicts uh, crochet uh, club, kit club. So um, it would help if I pulled out the yarn, huh? This doesn't usually have a name, but it is definitely a Tweety. Um, so let me do this. So right there. One for you, one for me. How's that? Okay, so this says it is 100% acrylic. It's 3.9 ounces. It's 190 yards. It's a four weight medium four. And it says cool machine wash gentle, tumble dry low, do not bleach, do not iron. And that's what this is. So yeah, I probably picked this kit up at the thrift store for maybe, oh gosh, probably at least two or three dollars. When I find them, I usually pick them up. Because it did have the pattern with it as well. So that's the only way I would probably get it. But anyhow, that is it for this tote. That is what I have in here. So <clears throat> let me know what you guys think of this, um, of the yarn. I know a lot of it's a mixture of everything and uh, go from there. But anyhow, guys, thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Hello to all my new OGs and to my new subscribers. If you by chance are cruising through YouTube streets and you stopped on my channel, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you like what I've show, please, by all means, hit that subscribe button. It is helping me to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can someday hopefully get monetized and go from there. Um, because having a yarn hoard like I do is not cheap. <laughs> so anyhow, guys, and besides, you never know what I'm going to do. Um, I do sometimes thrift stores. This is my low buy, uh, year because I need to use this yarn up. I, the 43 totes, yep, 43 totes so far that I have shown you guys. That's a lot of yarn and it's crazy. I, it's crazy. A lot of this stuff was very much, uh, for me was uh, fear of missing out or FOMO was as most people call it. Um, I am trying to think, I'm sorry, guys, my brain is just not wanting to work. A lot of this is basically because I wanted it and I know I worked really hard to get in this stuff. And, you know, if I could find them at a yard sale, thrift store, wherever at a decent price, I'll do it. I bought some of this stuff for intentions to make on something. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I just don't know yet. So at this particular point in time, I'm just going through it so I don't go out and buy more of all those gorgeous, beautiful yarns that I am seeing all over YouTube streets, like the uh, new uh, Big Twist, uh, what is it, Prism yarn and stuff like that. <laughs> so it's like, Cheryl, don't go out there. Don't go out there. Don't go. Don't go. And I've been a very good girl for not doing that. So um, I do get some stuff occasionally. Um, or if I'm at the thrift store, I may pick up a couple of stuff to here and there, but I am trying to get it used up as much as I can. And I have a lot, 43 totes and I'm not even done yet. And like I said, I have collected this stuff for many, many years and, um, yeah, it's time to, it's time to get organized, time to get, figure out what I'm going to do with this stuff because this is ridiculous. I know it's affecting me and it's affecting me big time because I have all this yarn that says, make me, make me. And Cheryl's going, I don't know what to make. Yet I have probably thousands of printed up free patterns that I could be working with. Some of them I do, some of them I don't. Some of them I watch on, t on YouTube and I do. It all depends. But eventually it will get used. There is a meme going around that says, with yarn like this, 
this is eventually I'll use it. Yeah, that's me big time. <laughs> um, sometimes I will uh, help out my sister-in-law uh, because she she does some crocheting for the uh, community that she work she lives in. Sometimes she will uh, make blankets for the um, seniors and other places or hospice or something to that effect. And then she let them. So I just give some to her as I got it on the cheap. And that's way of my, my way of donating for, to her to help her, her cause. Um, yeah, there's just a lot going on. So anyhow, any, anyhow, guys, I don't take up too much of your time as it is. Um, like I said, please hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the yarn. Or if you have suggestions of certain yarns, what to make out of it, please, by all means, let me know. You never know because it may inspire me to do something. And sometimes I may inspire you guys to do something with some a project that I have done. I know I get inspired quite a bit. <laughs> so um, I'm looking around to see if there's anything else I can think of at this time. I'm not. So with that being said, big hugs from me to you guys. Thank you for every, everything you guys are doing. Thank you for joining me. And you guys have a wonderful day. And if you're having a beautiful day out, by all means, enjoy it. Today we are having, believe it or not, we went from like 100 degrees yesterday. Now we're down. Right now it's probably 1030. Um, and it hasn't even hit 68 degrees yet. So I've got the house opened up and trying to enjoy the fresh air and stuff like that. So that's what's going on. <laughs> so anyhow, guys, you take care and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.